Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today along with... Payasum, first mate Rakir at your service. And welcome back to Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine for the ninth time now. So it's the ninth time that I've been stop motion like this. Yeah, and... We did not forget anything, did we? Uh, I don't think so. I turned over the sign on the door. Uh, not all programs need to be active for this. I didn't forget VC Place this time. And yeah, I think we should be safe. I, I fixed that little thing with uh, with this. Apparently, it got these. Apparently, the correct source was deselected for some reason. Anyways, last time we well we made our way through King Solomon's mines into King Nub's tomb. And we also gave Vol Volotnikov quite the runaround. And I did look up what we needed to do since we were... Well, we, I was thinking we need to put that gear that he stole back where it belonged. But no, we actually need to bring it up here. So I was correct in saying it was super f unneeded. I'm not going to try that line again. Yeah, it, it... Oh dear. Yeah, I suspect it's do something just... It probably uh, makes something move work for something that we don't need. Hey boy. <laughs> was he one-handing that? I think he was. Okay, pretty sure that was a machine gun. Or at least a submachine gun. Okay. Let's just grab the ammo from these guys. Why is it over uh, here? Hmm. Suspect, suspect some big dudes like him can with some guns one-handed. However, that's the thing. Just because you can wield it one-handed, doesn't mean you should. Yeah, because you're not going to hit shit like that. No. Yeah, it may come at a uh, great cost of uh, accuracy. It says, yeah, sure, you can lift it with one hand. But good luck aiming it with one hand. Okay. I should have checked with the map last time to see what would actually be needed. And... Hmm. I'm actually not seeing the X. Oh. Oh, it's over there again on the block. Oh. Okay, apparently the reason why we needed to shift those blocks around was because Volodnik Volodnikov kept uh, going... F <clears throat> kept cutting through it if we were to chase him long enough. So, oh. yeah, that, that blocked off his path. Now, I did look up a bit about yeah, what we need the gear for, and it basically just read go up and go back up, and yeah, that's basically where I stopped reading. We are limited to this room, though, so it has to be somewhere around here. I'm guessing up top somewhere? It's a bit of a dead end. Is there some sort of mechanism up there? There's a button, but I'm pretty sure that's the button we use to open up the stairs. So we can't walk across, so we'll go... Okay, we can't crawl up those. Okay. Hmm. Where do we need to put that gear then? We don't put it back in place. Is that something over there? No, that's just the, <laughs> the bone at an odd angle. Hmm. Maybe if we maybe if we push this again, something will happen. Up and then it going down. Nope. Where the hell did Volodnikov actually run off to? This is a sealed room. Is he just hiding behind one of the pillars or something? Good question. Yeah, we don't have any keys. Where do we need to put this thing then? Hmm. 
Yeah, is that, is that something we are... Hold on. Hmm? Uh, have you tried cutting the tapestries? Oh, hello. This one can be cut. Uh, is there something going to be... There can't be a path up hidden behind this because it's... Uh, yeah, <laughs> we already know that it ends above uh, up above there. Unless we're getting into non-Euclidean non uh, environments Wait. or something. That this might make sense, but there's a crystal above you about this one. Oh, not? Yeah, the crystals are in sp Oh, we're going down. Oop. Okay, I was wanting to. Uh, I thought I was pressing the uh, look button there. But... Okay. Wait. So we need to find something else somewhere to lower that gate or move it aside. Hmm. We're making some progress. Is it the same button that we used to close and raise this one? I doubt it, but we could give it a shot. It's just going to bounce off each of these. Hmm. All right. I, I was right about cotton tapestries. Yes, it was the wrong one I was thinking of. I still don't get why the, it's still pointing to the, the movable blocks. There shouldn't be anything left for us down there. Um. Okay, let me just go look up what the hell we need to do. I... I do not see at all what we need to do here. Like, we don't have any keys. The gear needs to go in there, but again, we don't have a key to get in there. So, yeah, early in the stream, but oh well. To look this up. <clears throat> Indiana Jones and from Machine. Yeah. Gear. And there. Okay. So gotta wait for it to load for a bit. There we go. Find in page. And it was a bronze gear, I think. So if we look bronze. Yeah, there yep. we go to the turf. Grab a gear and run. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. That's about the gears. Or, no, the, the blocks. Okay, chase Vol Vol the Vol Vol Volovnikov around. He'll trade it for his life. Sniper. Okay. Climb up. Uh, wall. Okay, three new guards. Yep. Okay, that's about the, the hole with the machete. Movable block, pull it three times, climb up top, turn around and leap to the high hole in the... What? Oh. Uh oh. We've clearly been missing that. Also, I heard snakes. It sounded a lot like snakes, yeah. So there's probably some around here. And whatever is around here for automatons, snakes, spiders, and something else that we keep hearing. Something that sounds a lot more organic. And that's the gate move out of the way. Okay. So, <laughs> okay, this is funny since, well, it is often said that people don't look at like a... <clears throat> Don't don't they don't look past a certain degree uh, upwards? I think it's about forty-five degrees or something. Because yeah, humans haven't had to deal with uh, avian predators in a long as time, so it's kind of been an instinct that's been worked out. So. Yeah, except we are being told that something is hiding in the trees. 
Yeah, but that that needs uh, yeah knowledge beforehand of something being there. Yeah. Look what I found. A key. Yeah, that, that's key. something that the ninjas of old uh, <clears throat> made use of. That people would not look upwards past a certain degree. So if you could stay out of that uh, field of vision or out of upwards uh, field of upward vision. You would basically go unseen, as long as you didn't make any noise, of course. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll be damned. It opened. Now then, we uh, put this turtle into gear. It fits. Gee. It won't budge. What? What? Hold on. Does it need to be weighed down or something? Does this even fit in there? It looks like it could. We'll see in a second. Yeah, maybe it needs to be weighed down or something, like a, a cargo elevator? But what is a cargo elevator doing in here? Then again, ancient civilizations and all of that. I was actually right, apparently. Yeah. How did... What the cube with Mothman on... <laughs> uh, hello, Glacier Boy. And I, I also thought myself you looked like a fairy. That is closer. Okay. No. Oop. Okay, apparently the doctor weighs enough to move that block back up. Uh, hello. Ancient Babylonian graph tank. That is surprisingly fragile. What the heck? I guess no one had given it proper maintenance under all these years? Though, no. let's be honest. But it still works to begin with. Yeah. Those things are... Well, they are probably made out of bronze, which isn't too tough of a metal, I think, or alloy, to be more specific. Uh, bronze or copper? Let's see. What have we here? Okay, this is a one-way trip from the other side. That... That looks a bit like a fuse thing or something. There's supposed to be a fuse in there or some <clears throat> some similar object. Huh. Let's see. And yeah, Joe's apparently is heavy or light. There's another one over here. Okay, no need to for that, Doctor. Where do we... We need to get out somewhere, but we can't reach those upper areas. It doesn't look like we can climb up here somewhere. There's this thing, but... Yeah, it's not... We haven't used that one in a while. It's not, it's not functional here, so we need something. Is the crystal even up there? Okay, there it is, but it's blocked off. So the fuse is needed to get the gear, the, the gate out of the way. Hmm. Then where need, where do we go then? Wait. Is there something I'm missing? Okay, there's no swing point. Can we jump that? No. Dr. Jones can make quite the leaps, but not that far. Hmm. Can we just... Oh, oh hello. <clears throat> Apparently it is just within reach. Oh, hello. An idol. All right. And 
Where else? Where can we get up and be able to grab on? Just about anywhere, apparently. I, I keep underestimating how far he can jump. Let's see. And here's that block. Now, if we pull you out, then the counterweight should come back down. Yep. Okay. Well, that'll probably have some function. But not at the moment. It's probably how we get back out. Okay. For a moment I thought it was electrified or something. <laughs> Fish. Come on. It's a bunch of you. Oh, Lord, hey, it I thought first there was another monster in here, but there's a head of something. There's some sort of bull thing in there. Let's Assumed. hope it's not another... Let's hope it's not another... Automaton? Uh, you... No thanks, we don't need a haircut. You, you just had to jinx it, didn't you? Well, at least it's, it's at least it's not it's not as bad as that big thing. So it actually looks like Pazuzu on the cubes. The more I look at it, okay. Um, Pazuzu, I've heard that name before, combined with uh, Babylonian stuff. I think I have as well, but only in short dimensions. Uh, yeah, there's a lot that isn't. Unknown about Babylonian myth, I believe. Now, where do we actually get out? Doesn't sound like it's getting any closer. Then it just gave up. Let's see, nothing here, nothing here. we even get out here? Let's see. Are there any other passages around? So I can't look around whilst in the water here. Hmm. Let me see. Is the Mesopotamian gone or... No, I can't read the last one. Famine, and here's where we get out. Oh. Okay. Well, the, the place is filled with automatons, and those don't have stomachs, so they can't even starve. Okay, where's that Beyblade? It's just gone? Okay. <laughs> Checking for any possible traps. All right then, Bane Blade. No, <laughs> ancient Babylonian Bay Blade. Though uh, <laughs> a, a Babylonian Bane Blade would also be quite a thing. Firing slugs, yes, <laughs> make of solid uh, bronze probably. That sounds pretty painful, and where did we? Uh, uh, wait, no. We did see, find something that looked like a, a few things that looked like tanks, but you were able to destroy them with mere pistol bullets. Yeah. I was half expecting to have to pull out the bazooka, but yeah. not yet, this at least. Okay. That looks like it's probably painful. Oh, yeah. 
up. It, it, it's an ancient Babylonian Tesla coil. Uh, is this For some reason, up? this door won't open. Yeah, door. It's... We're going to have to outsmart this machine then. Not like that. And yes, he did. Okay. It needs... <laughs> I thought it was proximity based, but no, it's line of sight. Now what? Oh. Ancient Babylonian trauma kit. Wait, they said Odus had been here, went here before, but never returned. Oh, hello there, Manny Zoo. <laughs> thank you for the follow. Oh, thank you for the follow. Uh, let's see. Let's go out to Zap. Again, that double thing. I still cannot find why the hell that keeps happening. Yeah. And that goes back. Okay. I uh, think. I think the boy we found is of another adventure who got in and um, yeah this. Okay. That should have been expected since well electrified water and such. <laughs> Let's see, this reminds me of the old World of Craft games. This is basically Indies version of that. Like this came out some years after. I thought I felt something on the table move. This came out some years after the original Tomb Raider. And yeah, it very much mimics it. Which is a bit ironic, since, well, the original design for Lara Croft was basically Indiana Jones with not even a different hat. It was just basically indie. So, so yeah, it's. I find it a bit ironic <laughs> that. Uh, Laura was originally just straight up an indie XP, and yeah, come to the games and indie copies Laura's game. <laughs> I mean, I can call it I would call it more like uh, inspired. What do we need to do? I don't want to get shocked too often by that thing. Actually, I don't want to get shocked by that thing at all. Can we get up here? Let's see. <laughs> I thought you were going to say lower craft with, with triangles on our chest. People still do that as cosplay now and then. Sounds uncomfortable. <laughs> here we go. Hmm. <clears throat> Yep. Jones, up, please. Okay, why are you not climbing? Just hanging around? Bit little. Oh, God. it's damaged. Okay. Can we jump high enough? No. Hmm. Okay. And how do we. Now, exact same line. The map marker is still on that bloody movable block. Where here can we climb up? Actually, there's a room on the to the side here. Can we get? Door here. At least another eyes. This door won't open. Hmm? But the Lara Croft movies actually good. Uh, they were entertaining at the very least. They weren't amazing or anything, but they but were they good. Yeah, but probably due to they were set as a one of her many adventures instead of the is based on this specific game. Yeah. I think there was word that there was a, Tomb a new Tomb Raider movie in the works based on the latest era of games. Oh, so right. where do we need to go? 
map. Don't think we will keep a careful eye on. Since, yeah, I feel like we are living in a day and age where we more and more need to be careful on when to be hyped up. Yeah. Wait. That was the that was that uh, Tomb Raider movie. I, I didn't even know that it came out. <laughs> no. I didn't either. Five years ago? What? Okay. I, I'm oh. going to take a quick look to see where the hell we need to go with this because we're just running in, running in circles. Uh, I'm like, I feel like I might have heard of this, but for in this case, of my seen the trailers and just forgot? Let's see... Uh, hop across... Gold uh, idle, idle wear... Okay, listen to the Electro Ball's pattern of charging and discharging right after 5 and next... Okay... Round the left side of the pool and head to the next opening... This is back here. Hustle back into the passage. Turn to face. Okay. Going to get zapped. Yep. Yeah, you uh, may need to heal. Wait. Oh. Okay, I see it now. Can you see it now? Uh, oh. Yeah, I see the crack now there. I hope it's what not just here? this idol here. An idol. Hmm. Would have been funny if uh, American Idol <clears throat> was a thing in the 40s, and Dr. Jones shows up uh, with a whole collection, completely misunderstanding what it def <laughs> what the hell it's about. I'm pretty sure I had uh, some version of it, like... Uh, ain't, ain't American Idol basically just a talent show? Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, uh, sprint again to the corner where the skeleton lies. What did he lie about? Trauma kit, approach the steps, look up. Bird heads. There. Okay, though it's a bit annoying that those things are often out of sight. Which is kind of the point since you need to travel up through them. But <clears throat> it would have been nice if uh, Indy said yeah, if Indy hyped up about them more often. Like, that looks whippable. Let's see. Simon Cowell yeah. would be very conf Who the hell is Simon Cowell? Simon Cowell? Oh, good. Uh, I don't know who he is exactly myself, but I know the name from a song. Oh? I'm surprised if you have heard the Owl song. Not ringing any bells. <laughs> You would never listen to the weird music from Newgrounds, did you, back in the day? I hardly ever visited Newgrounds at all. Same? Others did, however. And then he, basically how I, I got introduced to the Badger, Badger, Badger song and all that. So, I learned the owl song through YouTube, though. Okay, so what a... Oh, wait. Now... I think I remember now. He he made a cameo in Shrek 2, I believe. Yeah. Oh, I did not know he was a judge in that American Idol. I did not know that. Okay, now where is uh, the plug for this thing? Uh, I don't think he was a comedian or something. I would not have guessed that he is a comedian from the way that he goes on during that... Uh, bit in Shrek 2. It's in the extras. Basically a, a music video that they're doing. 
<clears throat> wait. Wait, is it the Simon the hardest one to impress? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that one, yeah? Oh! Yeah, then the music video did him no favor! <laughs> For... Yeah... Oh, good god. Oh, now I can't... Yeah, but I also always got... Cartoon version. That, that was not the segment that came, that came up to my mind, so to speak. Okay, Glacier is saying that you are probably, th or you probably were thinking of a different one. Or still... Which one is it? The the music critic or the comedian? I, 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 I thought it was a comedian or something. Because he appeared in a song. But I didn't know too much, uh, know what he, he really was. Okay. I don't know what this song ended up uh, saying Simon Cowell was a king of the beavers. Nope. Okay, I thought we had to ground that thing or something, but no. Yep. Volodnikov on the gun. He's probably not too happy that we basically chased him around for like 15 minutes or so. Not that, but it's long, but still. All right, he is a mu music music critic and music producer. Okay, that one, yeah. All right, I did not notice. Then I guess that doesn't make sense why he was in a joke song. I think it was the one that made the owl song was the same that made the normal song. Uh, you have heard the normal song, right? Yes. And it looks like we're going to need to screw around with the water level. So this has now become yeah. a water temple. Uh, wait. Is this entire thing of bronze and something else? Now, I know in batteries there is like... Uh, Two different metals, copper and something else. I forget what the other metal is. I'm guessing that is what these paddles that we're moving around sort of are. So nice. this entire thing is a giant battery? Yep. Oh, good. This fucker is up here now. I didn't notice that. You... You didn't? Really? I was kind of focused on these things. <laughs> okay, that should lower the water enough for us to get to that middle area. There we go. Okay. And that also deactivated the mag... Not the magnet, the Tesla coil. Okay. Now we just have to, well, deactivate a few Russians. Here we go. Yep. Really, you're <laughs> you're wearing shirts with CCCP on them? Um, was that supposed to be a secret police or something? Oh, uh, not secret police, but yeah, I, I'm pretty sure these are just your standard grunts. Not even body armor worthy grunts. Yeah, like, I don't feel like they're supposed to have that written on the chest. Like, you might have that in the offices all that, but not out in the field. True, but these are definitely not some any sp sort of special forces. I think we pretty much uh, decimated the number that they got back in uh, Peru, was it? No, Mexico? Uh, no. Mexico. In Mexico. The, the NCCCP is supposed to be the Russian version of CIA or something? No, that's the KGB that you're thinking of. CCCP oh. is the something something communist party. Oh. oh okay, then I guess the shirt sort of makes sense, even a bit weird. 
Another one of those fuse things. I'm guessing that the part that we're going to find around here is related to those. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if it's in that Tesla coil thing. Actually, wait, are, are we just climbing up to go grab it? Hmm. Maybe. Nope. Oop. Okay. Luckily, we have plenty of cushion on at the bottom here. Yeah, and without the Tesla coil sapping this damn thing, the battery is at the moment dead. Yeah. It's, it's getting its power from the electrical panels that are higher up. So with no water to make contact between them, it doesn't <clears throat> it doesn't function. Okay. If this game had a quick save option, I would I'd be using it here, so we wouldn't have to climb up if we miss a jump. Okay. Or we just do a little hop like that. Can we get that one? Can you yes. just climb the thingy? But all right. Hello. This is another part of the machine. My name is Joseph Stalin. An electrical battery of some sort, by the looks of things. Okay, so I was absolutely correct. The okay. Yeah, that is very much electrical from the sounds of it. Yeah, better not have that thing out in the water. Yeah, let's not. All right, then. So now we can activate a bunch of stuff around the place. What is that going to do? Okay, bridge. Makes sense. There would be a way to get off of this thing. Just look at the trigger guard on that thing. You could shove your entire hand through that, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Maybe it is meant to? Yeah, probably not, since, well, it's meant to protect your trigger finger. Uh, let's see. This way to get back out over there, and then we can start activating other stuff to see what the hell we can do around here. Let's see. Oh, wait. I almost forgot. There's that chamber on the side here. That's probably important. I was actually thinking that the parts would be in there, but no. Wave our glow stick. So you were just opening up the door as well. Wait, I saw something there. Yeah, I did. Maybe it was just a snake. I thought it was something else. Okay. Yep, this is the shortcut back. Now then. Just to get back up easily. Where else did we see activation points for this thing? Good question. Hmm. Uh, uh, hold this one off it. The elevator is back up. Ancient elevators look really cool, yeah. <laughs> uh, button. Yeah. Actually, I think I don't think we need to use the block anymore, since now we can just turn the elevator on. down here we, we're not supposed to jump I'm pretty sure not or at least I hope not so let's just check out 
the now active elevator instead. Actually, yeah, now the buttons should be. Now I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be depicting the uh, Babylonian priests, since well, they brought uh, they brought what probably looked like holy items along with them when they fled Babylon. The control. Are we getting ambushed? Okay, different stop. So just a hefty chunk as it gets to a stop. Yeah, no, they, in the very beginning of the game, they talked about another Babylonian god, not Pazuzu, I think. I forgot which one, though. Let's see, Marduk. Oh, Marduk, thank you. I forgot which what Marduk was god of. Hello, is that a sarcophagus? Let's see, is there any... Oh, he has a whip point. So uh, nice of them to include these into their architecture. <laughs> uh, no, it's just... It's just a bar. Hmm. Not a bar? Let's see. Not ducks. <laughs> okay, hey. fancy looking door. A medical kit. So let me do a save because I get the feeling we're walking up on something here. Oh, it's. <laughs> It's not a door. It, uh, it, I guess you could call it a security door. <laughs> because Holy. it turned into security. Yeah, and uh, Glissburg, we, we said Marduk, not Duck. Marduk. Oh, I think it, my mic is having trouble with that word. Uh, oh. King Nub, I presume. Okay, we are definitely walking into well, we've walked we have walked into something for sure. Yep, yep. Okay, hey, just dump them down. This? A ruby polished like a lens, or an eye, a baleful eye. Yep, and it just closes on its own. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, Marduk. Marduk. M A R D U K. Marduk. It fits. Oh no. Whoa. Take it easy, big fella. I'm no grave robber. If you're willing to overlook this little incident, I am too. Exterminate, exterminate. Holy. Okay, a Babylonian Terminator. Okay. I'm guessing we need to shock it since there's these air around the place. There you are, okay. Yep, yep, okay, they stay active for a little while. Uh, do they stay on long enough for us to just lure it over? Okay, they stay on for quite a while. Luckily enough, holy. How are the ones are they? Who are they? Plenty advanced. There you are. Uh, I'm guessing these uh, don't have a time limit or anything on them. We just don't want to walk on them ourselves. There he is. 
That was easy enough. I guess we're lucky then that they didn't manage to invent ancient Babylonian machine guns or anything like that. You were shooting lasers, alien! Lasers! Yeah, but he was still pretty slow with that. <laughs> hmm. Oh, yeah, now. Now he gets demoted to a platform. Let's see. I'm no grave robber, says the guy who thinks ancient items in tombs should be in museum. And, well, he did just literally rob a tomb just a moment before. Let's see. Aside. And, uh, yeah, I guess we're just going to work up the electricity bill here because that platform is still active. Or zap pad, or whatever you want to call it. I suspect I discovered free energy. Let's see, there's no chance in hell that Volodnikov got in ahead of us. So I, I get the feeling he might... I, I think get the feeling he'll probably be stuck drooling over Golem out back there. Oh. Indy, is that you? <sighs> More or less. Are you alright? I am one hurting archaeologist, but I'll live. Oh good. Hand up those machine parts you've collected and we'll get you out of there. Indy? Who's we? Come on, Jones. We need those parts. Don't you love your country? In the name of the United States of America, man. I don't know. Don't trust your fellow Americans, eh? Now you know how we Ruskia feel. In the name of Sayu Sovietsky Socialist Ichesky Respublik. Give me the parts, Jones. He's a commie. The parts will be safer with me, Doctor. Your friend is a gangster. What a choice. And thanks. <sighs> Perhaps it's best, Jones. Your drugi have the machinery, but you have the satisfaction of knowing their betrayal will cost them their lives. Yeah, that cheers me up. Those ignorant fools know nothing of Babel, but I have studied, and I know that beneath the foundations of the tower, the cause of all the biblical turmoil waits to complete his designs on mankind. Who? What are you yammering about? Da, the Lord Marduk himself crossed over from the Ethereum to inspire the Babylonian priests. And Marduk, potent and malevolent to this day, will have his miest on those who desecrated the great machine. Luckily, you and I are professors at heart, too wise to become so easily ensnared. <sighs> and too timid. Back to our tea and books now, eh? <laughs> So yeah, apparently the bad guy wasn't that bad after all. Also, Indy, you had a fucking armory on your back. You could have just shot him. Yeah, oh good god, he's <laughs> real shit. <laughs> uh, oh dear. Yeah, you misread that. He he had he gave the <clears throat> he gave the parts over to. I actually forgot his damn name. We haven't seen him since like the thir the second level or so. Yeah, he is part of CIA now. That much is certain. Yeah. Okay. Don't think we have a real need for any supplies. Or I'm just hoarding. So, back to Babylon. Sophia. Turner, they've been here all right. Where are they now? Did they just blast the entire thing out? Let's see. That will never work. Okay. We'll have to figure out how to get around here without all of our precious infernal machine parts. Oh, because we are not jumping that. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yeah. 
Indy needs to open up his weapon shop after this. <laughs> Good gods. Uh, it's going to grab something. But uh, yeah, Sophia backstabbing us. Then again, she could have just left. She could have kept the ladder up there and <laughs> left Indy stuck with Volodnikov to debate. Uh, yeah. Babylonian myths for who knows how long. Hello. Oop, also hello. Look what I found. And I'm back just in time, First it seems. What have we here? A medical kit. Some more firepower. They're just literally high explosives around. And uh, yeah, interesting looking place. Uh, wait, is that one of those tanks? If it is. He's taking aim at something. Oh, there's the, the little droids things in the corners. Okay, that did nothing. And so much for the defense force. Okay. I was half expecting that to be a crush trap, but it was too slow for that. Uh, nothing up here. Is that a, did that just remove a barrier or something? No. Let's see. I know Hello. nothing at this level, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. I don't wonder why they explode like that. The automatons, you mean? Yeah, like I know I know they are made of bronze, but even a bullet may struggle with bronze depending on how thick it is. Yeah, there's probably some sort of power source inside of them, but well, of course there is. That gets destabilized and just explodes. Probably, and they were probably designed to handle arrows and such. does it a lot more than just make you invisible. A new world beckons. It's up to us as Americans to meet the other side and secure their cooperation with the West. We need an ambassador. Don't be a fool. You can't go in there. I sense danger. An evil force waiting to destroy us. Hey, you two. Jones, stay out of this. Don't worry, Sophia. I know my limitations. You're the one with contacts in the spirit world. Oh, sure. Do I look that crazy to you? You look like a real diplomat. Ah! Impressive, isn't it? We've struck a gold mine, Doctor. Now the Soviets don't stand a chance. Only I'm having some trouble with the control. You're a professional. You've studied archaeological puzzles. Help me solve this one. Why should I help a thief? In the name of freedom, man! We're in a war! All right, how's this? Stop whatever you're doing right now before you ruin the site. We'll apply for a grant and spend a few years studying the place. Research money's tight these days, but with your connections, it's a sure bet. Forget your ivory tower, Jones. Here's our chance to save democracy. Let's vote on it. Here. See you later, Jones. Ah, of course. Andy! Don't worry, Sophia. I'll think of something. I hope. Yep. I was <laughs> I was aiming for the button to turn around. 
What the hell is it, man? I was aiming for the... <laughs> I was looking to press to the left, not forwards. Yeah, well, that's a clip. Very... Very... Very fake, considering what he just said. I think it something. I hope... Jumps down into the hole. Uh, and yeah, Turner is your typical, yeah, nut job. Sophia, Turner, they've been here all right. Where are they now? And now we have to go sit through that again. <laughs> okay. But yeah, each of the parts actually have a function in this thing. And yeah. I'm guessing the invisibility part, I forget whose part that actually is. I, I, I think I can only say, like, Ungor was the first one or something. Or something like that. A UNG name, I, at the very least. Uh, but yeah, it, refract, it ref, refracts light. Still, we get nicked by a little dip. Okay. through this bit. But yeah, it's a typical case of... Actually, it's a bit ironic. Because uh, this entire place was torn down, or at least the tower was, because of Babylonian hubris. And now uh, American hubris is taking a shot at it. And we're only about halfway through our, our stream time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there is just no way to skip this. So how did you even figure out that that does that, Turner? I'm pretty sure you don't read Babylonian. It's a sure bet. Forget your ivory tower, Jones. Here's our chance to save democracy. Let's vote on it. Oh, I'm tempted there. to clip that part out. Let's, let's vote on it, Paul's gun. <laughs> uh, but... Jones. Turner, come back here. See you later, Jones. Did he actually think he had any chance of convincing him with that? <laughs> Don't worry, Sophia. I'll think of something. I hope. Like, it's clear beyond all reason that he's he's just an idiot who th thinks he can control matters that are completely out of his understanding. And oh, is there another? Is there another of those Tesla things here? <laughs> Maybe? And also he does oh he also seemed like one of those Should I say fanatic? Yeah. They they, they can you the... almost saw too much of about that era what? Really? What the other fuck Okay, that's no uh that's no automaton. 
What? Yeah, a... Looks like a someone crossed a a light is and a hedgehog of sorts. No, 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 no. It, it looks like a. Oh Lord, I want. Oh, I don't know what it is in English. One of those. One of those beetle th things you may find in the ball from at times. Cockroach. No, no, not a cockroach. No, no. Silverfish? I uh, think they are related to silverfish, but bigger. And uh, there's a deep sea variant that is huge and apparently edible. Uh, isopod, I think. Can't say I've heard of those. Uh, this uh, is non-functional. They can look like that, except minus the spikes. I just many layers of plates on their backs and many tiny legs. Oh, millipedes. Milli no, millipedes are, are, are long. Were pill bugs? Maybe pill bugs? Hmm. Oh, blood. Even I'm strong enough to remember what we. The inscription reads The unseen shall reveal the unimagined. Okay. Where do we... Am I overlooking a ladder? Is that type, a type of... of... Okay. 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 If that did... See one is a type of crab, then I... Probably been be slightly misinformed then. And... Okay, that's what's been happening. Apparently my phone got put off the do not disturb mode. And has been going off with notifications every now and then. That's what's been shaking my... <clears throat> my desk a bit. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to probably later investigate, but it's a type of bug that li likes uh, moist areas. Yeah, I think that's like a real bug. Yeah, it, it, are they grey? Yep. Then it's probably it, that, yeah. Kinda looks like that, just red and got some weapons. Do, okay, now I see it. Maybe it looks like a, a lice or... Something. Let's see. Well, this was the safer way to get down here. I th looks like a looks like a mix between a mealy bug and a flea hmm. with razor blades or spikes. Now, it's sure what to be a nuisance since it's freaking poisoned us. Uh, selfish a bit more long, but I wish it is. I don't think those are the only ones. If, if there's small ones... There's probably big ones. Okay. Yep. I was going to say we just dodged the first one, apparently, but then we get struck by the second. Oh, bloody heck. Uh, yeah, I'm not surprised he became sort of the bad guy. He says, do that era. Oh, bloody heck. Russia and USA were... It was almost ridiculous. Really? I just nicked that a little bit? <laughs> okay, no time to be standing around, Jones. Okay, still took a bit of... quite a bit of fall damage there. But we have plenty of healing items. Actually... Uh, not that one. There we go. This should be a good <laughs> little pest uh, dealer. <laughs> Fill them with a fucking slug. Or fill a slug with a slug. You compare yes. them to slugs now? Really? When I mostly said so that because... I mostly said that because, well, this shot, there's slugs in a shotgun. Motherfuck. Okay, that's what I get for calling them slugs instead. So, hello. I think we found where the, the levitation part is. Yep. Okay. That's going to have to feel weird as fuck. Yeah. Uh. You are so coming online to try and kill us, aren't you? 
What it? It has four legs. It got bloody four legs. It's a very tall centaur. Or, oh. I don't think that's a centaur hill. Oh, hello. Hmm. A headless horseman. Uh oh. oh. Turner stuck the wrong part in there. Got the other stats and. Okay. Hmm. And what part is supposed to go in there? That's a long way down. A really long ladder. Let's see. I'm guessing we can whip that rod. Just need to get a good angle on it. Where is it? Right above us. I know it's too high up for this. Okay, I guess we'll have to go down the long way then, or actually, will it activate? No, we're too far away from that, and let's have a better look. Yeah, it looks it looks like a mechanical centaur. But I want to see the lower half. I see no arms. True. An amputee centaur. Yeah, he called it a headless horseman or something there. Yeah. No. Unless there's supposed to be a humanoid pot there. And the, the way they animated it, it looks like something that it's supposed to do something. Uh, you, you mean more the, the way it's colored? So it, like uh, yeah. how uh, movable parts are always differently colored. Yeah. It, it feels like that, that thing may come alive. I'm pretty sure it's going to. Now what? An idol. Actually, what is down there? Is that just a death pit? It... Okay, look, the look button doesn't work when you're holding a weapon, and yeah, we are not going down through that. That is just instant death. And he's alive. We need to find that thing's head somewhere. have to run this gauntlet, I'm guessing. But first, we put down the save. Okay. There we go. Easy enough. Ah, it's the battery. The inscription reads... Verily will I shake the earth. Uh-oh. Turner stuck the wrong part in there. Did he did he even try to understand what each part What's does? That? He he Phoebe hmm. Booker he is very with the brim arrogant and yeah. prideful. And he's mixed death romp. Exactly. Yeah, he's so arrogant and prideful that he makes him an idiot. Okay, at least we don't have to dodge the lightning a second time. I, I guess you could basically call him a fool. Yeah. A fool of a took. <laughs> Even took reference. had more sanity. Okay, he didn't know that you could actually pull, 
push buttons whilst we were holding these things. Uh, it wouldn't make sense, wouldn't it? How do we actually get out of here? There's a map marker this way. Back to the levitation room. Also, if the if the levitation one isn't supposed to work here, then why was it? Oh. Jones. <laughs> okay. Ooh. I thought he would. I thought he would at least correct to where he would go to. <laughs> the right way, but apparently uh, not. Oh dear gods. Okay. The inscription reads, Verily will I shake the earth. Uh-oh. Turner stuck the wrong part in there. Actually, actually, it makes complete sense why he stuck the wrong, the wrong part in. He doesn't speak uh -huh. Babylonian, or he doesn't read it. Or can't read it. So he doesn't know Look which part goes where and sticking them around randomly. This is very idiotic. Yeah. Like, w with the, <laughs> the, the automaton, it doesn't even make sense to stick the levitation unit in there. Uh, since it very obviously needs a head. Okay, see you, see you another time, Glacier Boy. And thank you for... Uh <laughs> thank you for uh, watching. Yeah, thank you, thank you for joining, uh, Glacier Boy, and have a good day. There we go. It, did, it does correct a bit. Hmm. So the hit, just the hitbox on where it allows you to whip is a bit too wide. Yeah. There. So let's see. that room needs the Earth Shaker Rod. Uh, what yeah. did the center one need? need to... uh, I don't think it's red. Indy didn't read an inscription from it, he just said it's the wrong part because, well, it's not a freaking horse head. So I can guess why Turner thought it would be the, uh... <clears throat> it would be the levitation part since there's that crystal up above. Hmm, a headless horseman. No, it's pointing to a cross, so... I think the game wants us to try and open up the door there. But we have no other... Can we stick something in randomly and see hmm. what it does? A headless horseman. Well, there's an... It needs a prop we don't have at the moment. Can we stick this one back in? No. Okay, they're just retrieve. Hmm. I hope we didn't have to swim to some other place around here then. Actually, okay, there's a door there with a functional button. Yeah, uh, don't forget to save. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to jump and then I realized, oh yeah, we can bounce off the walls. Or can we just reach it from here? No. I don't seem oh, like I a rubber ball something. Okay, maybe not like that, but... Uh. Let's have a look. I don't see a way we can get from here to that upper bit. And I very much doubt that we can open these. Something doors. is holding this door closed. So that looks like wood to me. Wood and iron? Yeah. I just realize this center is not bronze. Yeah, it's blue. I'm guessing the door is ceremonial or something. Actually, I'm going with that mostly because we're probably sending this thing through the door, so this is all probably some big mechanical ceremony thing. Hmm. Okay, just need to get a jump in there. And 
and then we can use that pole to swing across. Or we should be able to, I think. Does it, does it even extend out enough for that? Yes, it does. Okay, just... Stupid, awkward little jump, then. Bounce off the corner. Oh, dear. Okay, just get to this point, jump to there, and there we go. Okay. They could have added a little platform behind here to make it easier, but oh well. That sounds like one of those... Okay. That was a new one. Yeah. There's another one around. I'm going to be saving a lot here, so I don't fall off these things. No comments. Hello. Okay. And there. What the? Oh. Oh, there you go. Okay, if it goes white for you, then it means that it's saving up a clip as a recording as well. Oh, all right. It's got a bit late on the button. You reform? Okay. That's definitely unexpected. Oh, I... Easy guess as to what he's stuck in here. Okay, that's not electrified or anything. I hope. Oh, oh no. This might be rather annoying to some people who don't like rapidly moving images so let's just get up there pull that thing out and put the battery in because this is very clearly a power plant the inscription reads my power will change the world turner fouled up again there we go up top there. Now collect our prize. Now what? Okay. Once again a save. And we'll have to run this little gauntlet. Okay, now there's power, so... Oh, I guess that confirms that, the elevators are active. Oh, I... I really don't like that guy. And actually, now that we have the, the Quaker... The inscription reads, that, Verily will I shake the earth. Grab it first. Ergons. Okay, I was somewhat close. It was just an N instead of an an R instead of an N. And yeah, this is a this is a big ass what do you cylinder know? piston. It worked. It's a giant engine. So we have power, we have an engine. Just need to activate the levitation system. And the uh, thing in the middle. Okay. Um. Is, the, is 
the place shaking a little bit every now and I thought there was a little shake there every time, but it's probably because we were close to the engine. Possibly. Yep, damn it. Okay, at least that's a safer landing than the last time. Yeah. There we go. And the elevator works now. Pointing to the engine room still. So the camera's a bit stuck there for a bit. A bit stuck there for a bit. <laughs> redundant statement is redundant. There, there. Um, actually, wait, is this higher up on the machine? Yes, it is. Okay. Another save, because if we fall from here, it's pretty much lethal, no matter where we land. Uh, like, I, you know what I think he's doing? Mm -hmm. Or how he messed this up so badly? Uh, how then? I'm American. We will wing it and we will work. Or something like, something oh, like that. But he seems yeah. to be that, that prideful person for he keeps spouting that here? yeah the only way he'd wing it is by getting flown right out of this <laughs> getting flown over the horizon yeah and not under his own propulsion Let's see. I, I think the best way to describe it is that he is a f type of fanatic yep, damn it the fanatics can come in all types and forms. Oh, good gods, Helian. Okay. I have to say, I find it a bit funny that uh, he pulled out the 9mm pistol instead of his own uh, typical revolver here during the cutscene earlier <laughs> so I'm guessing uh, Jones has become as much of a fan of it as we have <laughs> one for one aha okay. maybe safe actually are you serious about it? Mm. Earlier when the kid talked to, uh, to Jones, he didn't seem to be excited uh, when the kid pointed out, that he asked about uh, how if he was American, if he was civilized or something like that. Yep. How do you mean? Uh, from the, from the, is, uh, when he, he asked uh, if Americans are civilized like the Englishmen, yeah. he said, uh, debatable, if I remember Sorry, right. You got the part I need. Hand it over. Sorry, can't do that. Andy, help me! Come on, it's our only chance to save Sophia. You don't fool me, Jones. Once you stop the commies, you'll use the machine to take over. That's your plan. The world's seen enough dictators, don't you think? You'll never get away. That is your idea, you idiot. Wait, what? Uh, really, you just came at me with a freaking mouser alone? First aid. Then again, he'd need one hand to hold this thing. Yeah, and uh, now we know he is an, a, a lunatic. Yeah. And, oh, oh, yeah, I feel like something. Indy does not like military. Yeah. Of any type, if I remember right. Probably. Yeah, he's, seen, he's seen what uh, war does to places, basically, yeah, because it, he digs through them. Yeah, and if I remember right. 
depends how canon the young Indiana Jones was. He has been in the military. Okay. I can hear something scuttling. So yeah, I guess he has those. seen both good and very bad parts of the military and considering we we what we see in the movies and here yeah he doesn't like definitely doesn't look like the military he gets involved in or chaotic game like this yeah because typically they do not want to do it for uh, good reasons yeah for 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 them everything is a weapon or they yeah Oh, I'm guessing the levitation part needs to go in here somewhere. I hope we'll be able to save Sarah, but she seems to have some brain cells. But she noticed that something was wrong. Yeah, it's Sophia, not Sarah. Sophia! Sorry, I mean Sophia, not Sarah. <laughs> okay. Yet another save. Also, I'm surprised. I'm a bit surprised, and yet at the same time not too surprised, that uh, Turner went down with two shotgun sh uh, shells. Because for one, well, uh, it's a shotgun, and for two, he's well, he's just human. <laughs> yeah, you do. You have a good down by one mighty lightning bolt. So yeah, it would make it makes complete sense that he would crumple just immediately. From two rounds of buckshot or slugs. So solid slugs, I should say, probably. Yeah. The bloody, the, the, it's something like a, it, like he wanted to take control to the power for himself. Yeah. He wouldn't have been the first one to claim uh, to be looking for power in the name of something, and but instead just mean to hoard themselves. Anyone that it doesn't hit? Nope. We're way too slow to dodge this lightning rod. Hmm. Where do we need? We need to put the. Are these active? Luckily enough, they are. Sophia just hang, hanging around quite literally, and I get shocked for that pun. Let's see, is there an upper area above the middle here? No, this is the hive it goes. Hmm. Do we just need to dodge the lightning then? Actually, uh, wait. Yeah, can you? That work? It actually works. Okay, that's what? That's not how uh, getting shocked by a lightning rod works, but uh, I'll take it. And you instantly make a fit. Hell. <laughs> It's not my fault that Dr. Jones uh, can bounce off of his beer belly. What beer belly? You probably have wabs to know to us both combined. <laughs> probably. Uh, I is... feel like I just burnt us both with that one. Yeah. Well, I think you're done with me. I never actually use this thing much. Okay. I'm gonna use this one now then. Yes? Okay. Bonk bonk. Okay. Uh, hello? Did you see someone? what's in there? Hmm? Oh, hello, yep. Yeah. 
Master of my slumber. Uh, that's me, I guess. Indiana Jones. Make me hold, Master. I may obey your wishes. And now we've got ancient Babylonian reads AI. Boy, lift man to new heights. Turner fouled up again. Wait. Um, go ahead. Oh, he found the head and put it. she's back into place there so whatever it is she's held in or contained in if it's a containment field hold on this looks a bit suspicious yeah and also he removed the head and put it somewhere else what, right, what? if it even How? was there in the first place what if it even was on the body in the first place it could be that they dug it up somewhere else. Yeah, but you look at the head and you should feel extremely obvious that it should what have be on that robot body. Yeah. Now what? My, my guess is that Turner put the parts in as he found them and, well, when he found the body, he'd already put the head over here. Uh... Okay. Yeah, he... Is he still the person who... rather rush... than do... proper research? Like, wing it way too much. Yeah. And when you wing it, your wings are going to get clipped sooner or later. Yeah, like, Indiana Jones does sometimes we it, but he does at least try to investigate. Yeah. And try to minimize the risk. Turner? Have we seen what happens? Okay. Now to give Marduk a heads up. Okay, Sophia, say uh, hello to our new pet. Why? Why did it speak like that? How do you mean with that? Did it call it says Lord Marduk? No, it it it's mas uh, it's other master. It's called Marduk. Uh, all right, all right. That misunderstood. I I'm not, I'm not taking any chances with that little gap. I've already fallen to my death through one of those. Also... Save? I'm pretty sure this is probably the end of this level. Gap lost you. Couldn't even hit me there. Last one. Wait, that broke? I'm guessing that was supposed to say that the, the Tesla coil turned back on again? Well, that was the wrong button. So I got it right there, and I'm pretty sure we're heading into the last level of the game now. 
So uh, let me just actually, yeah, they're the same price. Let me get a few of these. And let's see. Yeah, some poison kits just in freaking case. There, leave enough for, you know, for the secret map. Ethereum. Places a machine. Yeah, we've gotten ourselves into big trouble now. Yeah, uh, as, as I should probably clarify, the reason I seem to be really annoyed with Mordok is I don't like fanatics at all. Like religious oh, fanatics, it. political fanatics. If the person is a fanatic, it's gonna. More than one is probably annoying me. I uh, think you meant what? Turner, not Marduk. Yeah. Uh, what did I say? Yeah, you said Marduk instead of Turner. Oh. I meant Turner, yes. Yeah. But yeah, Turner is a fanatic in a worse way possible that actually annoys me. And that uh, a fanatic is we see anything. Almost anything as a clarification that the uh, to justify them, and that annoys me. Zap right through. Ow. Okay. More machinery. No places a machine. Okay. Yeah, we need to go figure out just what the other hell we ended up in here. Electrical there. Okay, we yeah. can get out here. I feel like even the complaint about Crystal Skull, never play this. Yeah. Uh, what the? Did it? It wiggled at us. It tried yeah. to slash you with its eyebrows. <laughs> Apparently. Or it was trying to do the. Uh, the whole winky eyes thing, or eye wiggle thing. Not sure, sure what we should think about uh, some sort of alien uh, pest trying to seduce Dr. Jones. What is this here? Hmm. Not even the item get jingle? Probably because he doesn't even know what the hell he just grabbed. Shock panels there. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just look at this, then look at the uh, crystal skull, and uh, tell me which one of them goes uh, wackier. Yeah, and then that's also in the call mix. Have I never read them? No, we were lucky to not get shocked on the way down, it seems. And this looks vicious. So, alright. Either, either aliens or another dimension. Alright. Uh, Volodnikov was talking about a different dimension, a different reality. How do we even get out of here? Oh, wait. Opening there. Can we reach that? No clue if those were actually hostile or not. But uh, don't think we have much of the privilege of finding out. That look pretty carnivorous to me. Just overlooking something there is that gap in the wall there, but I very much doubt we can jump to that. I was actually trying to get over it, but oh well. Let's. Oh dear. Oh, I forgot the freaking save. Okay, third time's the charm.
Okay, at least we know what to do. More machinery. The whole place is a machine. Hopefully. Okay, just get out of here. Just not fall down. What are these things? They look a bit like some sort of mix between a wasp and a shrimp or something with wings. Gone. They look like they look like the deep sea fish. They wanted to then sort of decide to become a try to become a flying fish and a bat. Horrifying is what they are, though. What the and. These are small, though, so I expect there's going to be something horrifying around here. Yeah. Okay. Got this thing. Hmm. I'm guessing we have to get up somewhere. Not through there. Without getting shocked to hell and back, at least. Can we climb out on the top here or something? You know, everything is sloped, so we can't get a grip. Okay, we've had we have that little thing, whatever it is. Okay, it's not... Uh, what What is it then, if it's not an item or something? Oh, did it just vanish? Hmm. I, I just pray that ain't a bug. And there's plenty of those around here already. And again, I... Uh. Okay, I was holding off on saving until we got out, because I didn't think I'd fall for that again, literally. But, lo and behold, I guess fourth time we'll have to be the charm then. Oh dear. More machinery. The whole place is a machine. I even need that thing, whatever it is. Are you gonna pray Sophia will be alright? There, 16. Hmm. Can we interact with this thing or something? No, nope, not even a reaction. Okay. Let's grab that doodad again. You got me. One, two. There were four down here last time. There's number three. There's number four. Okay. What is this thing? Aha. Hmm. Made it stop. Okay, I think it's one of the treasures of this area since it said treasures one. So it it's completely unnecessary. Okay, well, now we know that, and now we know that we don't need to bother going down here. That still doesn't answer where the hell we do need to go. Let me have a little look. Is any of those four side passages open or something? No, no, and no. Okay, so we're basically stuck in an elevator that goes up and down. 
but yeah, no way to get out. Or get out of the room at least. Are we going to have to jump for that uh, hole that this the fly things come through over there? Yeah, we, we, Maybe. we are not getting down. We are not making that jump. There's nothing to whip either. Where the hell do we need to go? Okay, it's... The map says over this way. Uh, nope. Probably gonna have to save soon. If we just jump into these things, we fall through. But like this, okay. No, we can't interact with that. It's showing red, which is below, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Even lower? What? Where are you pointing to, map? Well, they seem to not be aggressive. Yeah. Okay, it's up, but there's nowhere for us to get more up than this bit. So, yeah. Health wasted. Oh, wait. We can get to it from here, I'm guessing. Uh-oh. Might nope. Yeah, I was about to say it might be that those things hurt on contact, maybe. So they would hurt as we try to get through there, but hmm. okay, it's not that. We don't have any on our of our fancy tools to break open this place or anything. It, it, like I un I keep underestimating how long the far jump is, and then I underestimate the standing jump. Let's actually go back to two since we have more health there. No. Okay, just going to straight up look it up now. Okay. Have uh, got to end stream soon, by the way. Oh yeah. <laughs> Last hour went pretty quick then. Yeah. From the machine, next area. Ah, yeah, it's Ethereum. Yeah, swim for it, yes. Facing it. What? Walk toward the ledge, or edge, turn around and drop. What? Is this some non yeah. Hold on. Oh. Yes, we are dealing with non Euclidean bullshit now. side the barrier between worlds isn't so absolute here's a slice of ordinary reality that's the candle holder hmm. okay that is going to make things a lot more trippy here if we can get to different places if we come from different angles I'm, I'm not sure if I've ever seen anything like that uh, since uh, that puzzle game Antichamber. 
It was all about uh, spatial snanaganery like that. Okay, oh, red rocks. Right. That's going to make this thing an absolute maze to get through. We're moving away from where the map wants us. Okay. I don't think that's the right answer. Yeah, that's the toad one of those totems that we found in uh, the Philippine area. It solidifies into a circle once we get close enough to it. I didn't actually notice that before. King Solomon's mines. That didn't work. I'm doing something wrong. Wait, hold on a second. I just noticed that the bar down there is emptying. Okay. Uh, I don't think we want to know what happens if that bar runs out whilst we're in flocks like that. Uh, oh, oh. I'm guessing it uh, would involve uh, many limbs across many parts of the multiverse. If they would oh. even be intact enough to be called limbs anymore. There we go. Finally something that makes a bit more sense. Does that regenerate? Careful. Let's not get shot. A tool from beyond. What is this thing? The tool from beyond. Alright. Wait, that shape. It looks like the field that Sophia is stuck in. So we preserve to use it to free her? Probably, but we'll still need to get close to her first. Yeah. And for that, right. we'll need to get out through here. And I'm, I'm guessing it will open up those gates. It was portals. draining while you picked it up? Yeah, I tried to use it. Okay, yeah, we will not regenerate whilst we're in the Ethereum itself, but it will regenerate in the uh, captured bits of reality. Okay. okay. There. No. Where is this going to bring us then? Uh, yeah, again, uh, I find it the claim that aliens in Indiana Jones being too uh, too ludicrous. It sounds a bit hollow when Indy is literally swimming around in a different dimension here. Yeah, and when you look at the other movies, yeah, I, I, I just wonder what the heck are people on about them. What the heck are those? Explosive, like everything else, it seems. Okay, they phase in and out of reality a bit as well. Hmm. This seems... I don't think that's the right answer. Yeah, these doors seem way too futuristic. Uh, there's where Sophia's being held, so let's just head up. 
here. We, we can't get a complete 90 degrees angle up, so we do have to spiral like this, which uh, might be a bit nauseating. What even is this? Marduk, you're one of those angry gods, I'll bet. Ugly, too. Welcome to the Ethereum, mortal. And immediately we're picking a fight with a god. <laughs> Okay. Eat mouse. That just does nothing. Okay. Up, uh, ow. Yeah, now, <laughs> now we have to go kill a god. <laughs> oh, damn it. Really, more of these. Just clear them out like this. Of course, they still get a stab in. They're all poisonous. Of course, they are. So, of course, is. Would our anti poison really work? Yeah, it works enough. Okay, map is pointing us that way. It seems that they... Oh, hello. Oh, it's the mirror. And the silver bar we've seemingly missed. What do you know? It worked. Look what I found. Okay. Hey. What do you know? I got lucky. Okay, take that back. And now it wants us to go back in the middle. Anything in these side rooms or is it just getting back to the center from a different angle? Hmm. What the? What happened to sound? Okay, it happened again that it's just muted randomly? Yeah, the, at least this time I noticed it right away. And... The game just... Was, ugh, the game doesn't respond again after that. Uh, of course. Uh, and we got that like off, and then we starting. We got like two minutes left. Uh, yeah, we might as well end the stream a bit early then. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, doc it's Doctor Jones' turn to try and kill a god. Oh dear gods! <laughs> Accidental pun, I guess. Okay, let's head on over here. And before we end, we are going to look for someone to raid. Now yep. there won't be another stream. You know, there won't be another stream tonight because I have early shift tomorrow, and the. I think the next day. I think I. I'll have to double check again. Let's see. I charged the work phone, so I can take a look right now. Uh, it should be just two days, but we'll see. Now I just need to. Get this thing to start up, of course. It's a work phone, so it's not the best. Okay. Whilst that is going on, then... Let's... Yeah, let me... Give me a second. There we go, just got called to go <clears throat> to go somewhere soon, in 15 minutes or so. Uh, okay, changing the screen share for Drakir to the 
Twitch. Double checking that the place is muted. It is. And let's see who are online. We have Kevin I, who is streaming King of the Castle. Lag Storm is streaming I Am Fish. Adrum with Resident Evil 4. Same for Sour Walrus and Mr. Icarus. It's been a bit since we've seen Mr. Icarus online, I think. Yeah. Kiri Natsuyoko is streaming Yuffie's Adventure. Let me take a peek at that. Okay. <laughs> It's a, it's a cutie, cutesy 2D platform of some sorts. This was weird. For we usually see her be her cute says playing Doom. Yeah. <laughs> then we have K9 who is streaming Diablo 4 beta. And that's about the people in our typical raid range. So we look at any of them or for the look among the recommended channels. How about we go for Icarus? For it has been a while. Okay. Just copy the name over. From what I'm hearing, the Resident Evil 4 remake has been basically a masterpiece. Like there are still some some minor flaws, but overall, I've only heard good words of it. This is okay. good for a. Probably knew they should not mess that one up, but also knew that the, most of it did work to begin with. Yeah, the, the Resident Evil 3 remake, they kind of dropped the ball. It was Not that it was a terrible game or anything, uh, but not as good compared to Resident Evil 2 remake. Yeah. <clears throat> probably due to that one's probably done on shorter notice. Stupid thing didn't start up. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, like I said, no other stream tonight, or no second stream tonight. I have at least two days work, though both are early shifts, the first ones in a quite a long time. So it's going to be a pain to go to bed early, but at least it's better than night shifts. So we can actually yeah. do late, uh, we can actually do a bit of a late evening, not evening, but afternoon stream in between so but we'll see I, about that if i am not too tired or anything yeah i bet for that but it it's either you call it end of the day since i'm the co-host i'm just talking observing you're the one playing it all <laughs> yeah like I, I have skipped a few opportunities for streaming because i was just too tired or, or stuff like that Okay, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> work schedule. Come on. And of course, needs to put need to put in my password again because I just cannot remember that for the freaking life of it. There. Okay, is it going to do anything else to get in my way? Freaking code again. There we go. Okay. Now show me my freaking schedule. Of course, for that, I need to jump through another three hoops before I can get to it. There. Okay. Let's have a look. Uh, da, da, da. Yep. Two, two early shifts and... Okay, a third one after that. And let's see. Tuesday the 28th, I have the day off. And after that, two night shifts. Okay. And after that... Uh, hold on a second. I thought I asked those days off. Uh, let me see. 24th... Uh, for the 24, two weeks time then. Okay, apparently they were late or something with approving my, uh, <clears throat> my, uh, vacation times. Or, oh, hold on, hold on. I, I think I, I, okay, those, those aren't, those aren't work days. Those are, yeah, other stuff days that are planned because they're on different times. Okay, so that's. Explains that. Uh, 
should be able to stream between those, I, I think. But uh, yeah. So yeah, for the coming three days, possibly afternoon streams, if I feel up for it. But for now, let's start up that raid. And uh, yeah, thank you all again for watching. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> uh, let me just double check for a second. Thank you, Manizu, for following. I hope you enjoyed the show. And uh, thank you, Glacier Boy, for joining along, chatting as well. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And with that, uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time, whenever that might be. But until then, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for ex um, interdimensional beings. Stream deck. <laughs>